Welcome, let's begin our series for revision for your NDA NET examination. Now we will be covering this revision across 8 different lectures. Uh, two of the lectures we have combined 2-2 two, two units in each. So across this 8 lectures series we would give you a quick recap of the major topics, a last moment revision for you. The next is uh, talking about the syllabus for each of those. So every unit that we would be discussing will be starting with the syllabus. Now under this syllabus as you can see the things that have been newly included in the syllabus are offline online learning, Swayam, Swayam Prabha MOOC. On all of these we have taken the videos separately. So very important. Then CBC is the choice based credit system. Again we have a separate video on that. Computer based testings. Again a separate video on that. And then types of evaluation which includes formative summative so all those are very very important topics so let's begin with the very first definition is a very very important concept now we have covered a class on definition where we have talked about the various types of definitions here you have a rule by Copy and Cohen that is very very important and that was asked in 2016 examination I guess which talked about the conative definition similarly you have lexical stipulative definitions all of those have been discussed in the class on definition that we have done so lexical is where you are trying to explain explain something and uh, stipulative is where you are trying to bring in a new meaning to the existing term. So uh, those are the kind of definitions that are important. Now when we talk about teaching, whenever you are solving the questions for teaching aptitude, understand it this way that you have to solve a question from a viewpoint that you are a teacher not a student. When you solve with this perspective, you would surely land up with right answer. Around 4 to 5 questions are sure from the te teaching aptitude. So a very important section indeed. So characteristics of good teaching. Uh, what kind of effective teaching do you think? What are teaching aids, teaching methods? So teaching methods are, let's say lecture that could be uh, one way lecture with discussion that could be a two way communication then you have guest speaker who could be there you could have index cards that could be given role play that could be done so those are all teaching methods on the other hand you have teaching aids which help you in the process of teaching so these uh, teaching aids are really important to understand the uh, process of teaching. So let's say you have the audiovisual equipments uh, which are used for teaching. So that's a kind of teaching aid that is being provided. Then the lecture that I'm trying to address must be suitable to the fellow people. It shouldn't be that I'm teaching grade 10 students and what I'm te uh, teaching is of a college level. So that won't really make sense. Now seminar, workshop, symposium and conference. We have covered a separate video on that. Very, very important. The next is types of co-teaching. Now co-teaching means where you have one and more teachers. So basically two teachers primarily who are taking the responsibility of teaching and then you have the numerous types of co-teachings that are there all of those co-teachings are really really important to understand so let's talk about some of those so parallel teaching where teaching goes parallel in two different classrooms two different teachers take the same course similarly you have a monitoring teacher who just monitors around in the class and sees if everything is going fine or not the next is uh, teaching aids we have already talked about so we have test now test whenever we say let's say I want to apply a test to a students of class 10 what would I do I would have some standardization for this test and this is standardization comes to three things reliability validity and uh, the norms that are there so standardized test we talk about norms or usability we talk about whether they are valid that means they are measuring the thing they are supposed to measure that means a test on intelligence should not measure personality similarly reliability means what i am saying today or my test results are showing today would be similar 10 days later 20 days later or two months later they shouldn't be they should be consistent they shouldn't be not too much of difference that could be found next important topics are reading curriculum syllabus so curriculum is a wider scope or an area under which you understand the individual syllabus syllabus is a shorter area so we say syllabus for mathematics english social science science 
so that's a smaller perspective but what kind of syllabus is designed is under a curriculum approach so it's much more holistic much more broader and much more detailed comprehensive analysis we also talk about timetable a very important part it's not only important for teaching but also as a student you should have a kind of timetable before the exam approaches or for your competitive exam whatever you are trying to prepare for the next is the cbcs system that is the choice based credit system we have already taken a separate video on that if you have problem finding the video you can just go on to the exam ray channel home page and scroll down you would have the nta net paper 1 playlist that would be there and that playlist includes all the expected questions expected questions for last 3 years are very very important so some of the schemes that have been released last 3 years are asked in the question paper so become important now this cbcs system would have the core subjects that would be there you have the ability and skill enhancement courses and then elective courses these electives could be discipline specific where you are trying to pick the course from a specific discipline or generic you can go to any department and choose a course or there could be a dissertation or a project now the credits that are awarded are separate under a honors course science course and a a uh, uh, social science course or a arts course so that's again a very important categorization for that uh, when we talk about online learning you have web based web enhanced courses web based are which are which is a platform like this where everything is being learned online through online instructions web enhanced is means whatever the strategy is going on you introduce internet to it you introduce some online tutorials and enhance the study through the web so that is the difference between web based and web enhanced uh, then you also have offline learning which is commonly seen in the universities that you have then swayam uh, you have the courses that are there and it is divided under four quadrants so the first quadrant is e tutorials that could be audio video then you have self assessments that are there the next quadrant is Uh, the e content that's the e uh, content that could be in the form of pdf so one is electronic content that is pdf and al- uh, another is video audio or e tutorial so tutorial and content two different things then you have uh, the self assessment that is there and finally the web resources that are being used we also have a lot of information on digital resources so the video on digital resources becomes very very important shodh ganga shodh sindhu neptel uh, e paatshala all of those have been explained there swayam prabha you have the 32 dth channels for high quality educational platform 24 7 so 7 days 24 hours daily uh, with the help of gsat 15 satellite is important now who hosts these channels the details of each of the channel the partners and the contributors are very very important both in the case of swayam and swayam prabha then you have another important theory that is classical test theory versus a item response theory uh, we talk about the computer based test computer assisted test and computer adaptive test so sometimes you have just a paper pen test which is being replicated on a computer so that's a computer based test computer adaptive we say the computer is intelligent enough to see whether you have done one question wrong in that case it would give you a next easy question uh, in other case if you have done it right it would give you a next difficult question so that's how it proceeds very very interesting very very important similarly you have partially adaptive test you have branch test so you have a first level of response that is taken based on the first level of response you have further sub responses that are classified so that's how you proceed with the computer based testing again covered in one of the separate lectures the description has the details of the uh, uh, of the various lectures that are there now the next is the innovation in the evaluation system evaluation system could be objective or subjective it could be a written paper it could be an mcq type you have the dick hierarchy that is very very common where we talk about data information knowledge and wisdom so john devy under his experimental evaluation system uh, talked about more on evaluation so that's very very important so john devy's 
system is very important to cover similarly assessment versus evaluation so assessment is a ongoing process you have uh, the various types of processes that are involved with the assessment so continuous knowledge skill attitude building is part of assessment then you have evaluation which focuses on the grades and may reflect uh, classroom uh, components that could be there uh, this time you have IRA ranking for the first time that's very very important so NIRF ranking for the present year IRA rankings are important you have the continuous and comprehensive evaluation system that's again important summative and formative methods so summative and formative means formative you do it across the year so it's a kind of feedback that you continuously get on the other hand you have summative that's towards the year closing so you have a aggregate analysis of the uh, learning that is being done you also have norm reference and criteria references and the grading the cgpa that's the cumulative grade point average the semester grade point average are important questions that could be part of your uh, evaluation system so with this we covered the first unit a quick revision for that uh, what you need to cover what has been covered so far so with this we have the first lecture that is up uh, we would be coming up with this series so stay subscribed do share and definitely bring in as many questions as possible in the comments we'll try our best to answer most of the questions have a wonderful day ahead